Hi, this is Clay from Rail Acquisitions recording a demo for our registrants to use and learning how to use our site. As you can see, we've already logged in as, a, uh, as evidenced by the, the high Abhinav Gupt. Let's go ahead and click on Property Finder. This will take you about to the About the Application page. As you can see, I've just pressed the F11 key, which hides a lot of the upper screen. I'm going to go ahead and hit the F11 key again to demonstrate that. See, all that stuff comes down, which wastes a lot of screen space. If I hit the F11 key again, it hides it. So that's a good way to turn that on and off. As you can see over to the left, you see statuses and tags. Statuses are what we create for you, and tags are what our registrants create for themselves. These are essentially a way to save your searches off to the side so you can have those properties that you're interested in at your fingertips. Now, in the upper right-hand corner, let's go ahead and click on Search for New Properties. As you can see on the left, you see property details. You can search by a single HCAT account number. You can search for property type, which is like single family home, real residential, mobile home, things like that. I generally leave that blank. Then uh, you also have other choices such as year built, building square footage. You can even put in uh, ranges for the value if you want to search for properties over $100,000, for example. In the middle, you see additional criteria. What I like to do is I like to click on Suit Filed in Judgment, as you can see right there. Now these are tax suits and tax judgments. Uh, below that you see auction status. You can look for upcoming properties that are being offered for sale at auction. You can include or exclude various uh, exemptions like homestead exemption or something like that. Below that you can see subdivision name. Below that you can input specific zip codes. What we've done is pre-populated this with the area of the heights 77008. Let's go ahead and so we're looking for properties, all properties in the heights that have a suit or a judgment for property taxes. Let's go ahead and hit search. As you can see, we've come up with a list of properties. And over to the right, you can see those properties displayed on a map with pins. Very impressive. Let's go ahead and look on the third property, the one on 17th Street. Click on the HCAT account number. And you're popped into what we call the 360 view. In this view, the 360 summary view, you can see much about the information, uh, uh, much information about the property, such as owner name and owner address and the, the specific type of property it is. It's a commercial property. And the blank space below that we reserve for information pulled directly out of MLS. We will show you the sales history or the, the MLS history of the property for the last 10 years. Since this area is blank, you can safely assume that this property has not been listed in MLS over the last 10 years. To the left of that, you can see the property uh, as uh, mapped on a, on a Yahoo map, which is very interesting. You can search, you can uh, switch modes, and you can zoom in and zoom out on the map. If you're not entirely sure where that is, you can pull back a little bit and you can say, ah, I know where that is now, okay. Uh, on summary, to the right of summary, you can see property info. Again, this will show you various pieces of data about the property. This apparently has no structure on it, so there are no buildings on it. Below that, you can search, uh, you can click on land. It will show you how big the property is, how many lots. Some properties have several lots on there. You can click on permit history. We have, we will show you all the permits uh, listed for a particular property. I'm not sure what land is doing with permits, but there you go. At least in 04, it, it had some permits. Uh, and the ownership history, you click on that. We will show you how long the particular current owner has owned the property. So he started his ownership of this property at 223 in the year 2000. To the right of property information, you can see neighborhood information. We will show you what uh, schools are around that particular piece of property. And on the contact info page, we will go out and scour various public places for any telephone number that we can find related to the owner. We can't guarantee you that that's a valid number, but we'll save you a trip out to some uh, free sites. And if we can find a telephone number, we will pull it down for you. Let's go to the 360 Financial tab. And as you can see, this is a page that we are particularly proud of. The first group of things you see are comparable sales. So these are sales as pulled out of MLS over the last six months within a mile or a quarter mile or whatever distance you choose from the property. Below that, you can see comparable rentals. These are rentals which have been successfully quote unquote sold on MLS. Below that, you can see comparable active listings. These are This is your competition 
uh, on MLS. These are homes or properties that are actively for sale on MLS. As you can see to the right of the sales comp page, you see the value history, which will show you uh, whether or not the property is increasing in value, decreasing in value, or holding its own. To the right of that, you can see tax history. This is this will show you the authorities which are assessing taxes on that property, the percentage of the value that they charge, and your expected tax bill for the year. To the right of the 360 financial page, you see the 360 legal page. This will show you the information related to the tax suit or tax judgment. You can see the file date, what the status of the current uh, suit, whether or not it's active or disposed. Now if you click on the parties tab to the left, you will see who is involved in the suit. The interesting thing here is that Harris County must file suit against everybody that has an interest in the property, including banks and mortgage companies and things like that. To the down below, you see the fact that Sterling Bank is being served in rem only on this suit. So that probably means very good indication that the owner has financed this, his acquisition of the property through Sterling Bank. If you click on documents, this is a list of all of the documents which are related to the suit. The ones you'd want to look at are the suit or the judgment itself, uh, anything that says affidavit, or anything that says original answer. Now you can click on the original petition link right there and it will actually open up the document itself. The document is now open. You can see who the plaintiffs are, meaning who is suing them. You can see the defendants. You can see the owner plus Sterling Bank, which means they likely have a mortgage on the property. To the right of that, you see the title history tab. Let's go ahead and click on that. What happens here is if, if the property has a very crisp, clear legal description, which unfortunately this one does not, but if it has a very crisp, clear legal description, we can show you a very good title history of the property. On the auction information tab, if this property is coming up for either tax auction or the trustee auction, you will see that information there. Now, from, from this tab or from anywhere really, let's say that you would like to get back to the list of properties that you had before. You go to the, ver to the leftmost search tab, you click on that, and now you're back at that list of properties. Now we have a very cool feature I'd like to talk to you about. In the upper left hand corner, do you see the, the, the mailer wizard? This assumes that you'd like to send a letter to all 200 people that you've selected. For uh, you can generate letters for free or we can mail them for you for an extra fee. So you click right there, we create the letters for you and save or print for yourself for free. The tool will create those 200 letters for you and then you can click on download those letters and the tool will actually create the 200 letters and allow you to save them. All of this is available for free. Now another choice you have for free is to take this entire list and download it as a CSV or essentially a spreadsheet. Click there, cl click on save file, the tool will create a file which you can then open directly in Excel by clicking OK. As you can see the file will open within Excel and you have the data right there to do with whatever you choose. And as we wrap up this demo, we'd like to provide you with what we serve or our services compared to our quote unquote competition. And if you have any questions, please feel free to give us a call at 281-954-4246. This is Clay from Real Acquisitions signing off. Thank you.